born free And life is worth living But only worth living Cause you're born free Good morning. Lombard of the Intertidal here. And today we're having a negative 1.6 minus tide. And uh, so um, let's go down there and see if the midshipmen have arrived. And hopefully uh, if any this year is anything like last year, they're going to be here. Okay, bye. Okay, let's see what we got here. Try one rock. This is the only rock I can do with one hand, but I see a promising little hole. <laughs> well, if he was in there, he's... <laughs> He's crushed. <laughs> Sorry. Any gobies? Any mud suckers? Any, uh, no, no plain fin midshipmen. Lots of native oysters, though. Are the little, the little spots where they once were. It's kind of sad. Okay, let's try over here. Don't worry, I'm gonna put that rock back. Don't, don't worry. Let's try right here. Oh, that's too deep. They won't be in there. Okay, let's try right here. Okay, I'm gonna try this rock. Uh, whoa, what's that? And now, now my camera's on. You see the photophores on the belly? And those jaws that are just waiting to bite my hand. This crazy little toad fish. And I think I'm gonna take this one for bait. That's terrible though, I feel so bad. They live such an adventurous life. 2,000 feet these things live at on, in the ocean. And then they come into San Francisco Bay. Look how he works his way down into the mud. They come into San Francisco Bay to um, to uh, lay their eggs. The uh, the females lay the eggs and then go out and live out high on the hog. Oh, he's buzzing! Oh, that's cool. It's also called the Sausalito buzzer fish. What a cool little creature, huh? Ooh, I just like playing with them. I'm crazy. This is, a, I'm, this is a lunacy. I'm here in the polluted flats. Okay, I'm just including this because the, uh, the old beer bottle here next to this rock just kind of, kind of says it all. Finding some really great stuff out here today. For example, this worm. Like, there's my hand, right? And there's the worm. I'm not really fishing for perch these days, so there's no real reason to let him go. Back. Back into the murk. Ugh. There you go, you platy held menthes. I gotta go. Okay, this this rock has midshipmen written all over it, and I think you can do it with one hand. There, what did I say? Who's gonna put you on the midshipmen? You see how skinny the males are? Can you see this guy? He's very skinny by contrast to that big female I just pulled out. Because he has to sit here and guard the uh, eggs all summer while the female goes out on the town and lives it up. Ooh, you're going to be good on the hook. Dance. <laughs> okay, got to go. Oh my goodness, I got a monster right here. I think we got the, uh, the state record. The state record, but in order to get qualified for the state record, I'd have to induce this fish to bite on a hook and line, which... Oh, he's in there. Oh no. I wonder if like if I get jabbed by a midshipman in these putrid flats, these radioactive flats, if uh, I will I will gain the uh, the superpowers of the midshipman. That's a great idea for a comic strip. Ooh, I got another lunker here. You can see him swimming around. Her, I should say. I don't know what it is about this that is so weird and cool. Oh my god. That is a. St oh, listen to the buzz! Oh, you're a singer. <laughs> I know about their biting. Yeah, you know, it's all well and good, and it's a cool fish, and uh, fishing is, you know, a thing that I do, whatever, but uh, there are moments where the, my conscience is uh, not, not uh, sitting so well. And that moment just occurred as I put that midshipman in the bucket and I looked at the bottom of the rock. What are those? Those are the eggs that that creature 
which used to live at a 2,000 feet offshore, came all the way in, migrated to this bay, to these putrid flats, and laid its eggs on the bottom of this rock and was sitting under there protecting them. When I came along, turned the rock, basically destroying the eggs and killing the female. <laughs> so I'm done with this for the day. Okay, gotta go, that's it. I'm bumming out, but I had to include this because that's the price. Bye. Okay, now they're swimming around a little more. A little more active, cleaner water. We'll see what happens. I might throw them back. Okay, well, I used one of these midshipmen and I caught a leopard shark, which is about what I expected, and uh, soaked him for an hour. And then the shark hit and I pulled him in. Not far from here. <laughs> and uh, they started buzzing and I just can't do it. I can't, I gotta set them free. I know I destroyed their home, so it's kind of a destructive thing, but at least they're alive. That's where I guess I draw the line. I can't, uh, just can't kill a midshipman with, uh, and maintain my sense of dignity. So they're going back. We can uh, sing the song now. Born free, hey, mama. as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. Live free, and the beauty surrounds. You. The world still astounds you each time you look at a star.